Hi, my name is Mitch Tabian, and welcome to my course, Firebase on Android, Cloud Messaging, Cloud Functions, and Crashlytics. I'm a self-employed Android developer, and I'm here to teach you about three incredible developer tools, Firebase Cloud Messaging, Firebase Cloud Functions, and Firebase Crashlytics. Every mobile application uses push notifications to drive user engagement and make sure users are alerted when special events occur. In the past, most developers used Google Cloud Messaging, or GCM for short, to trigger the creation of push notifications. Google has announced that they'll be investing in Firebase and making it their unified platform. What does that mean for the state of push notifications and cloud messaging? Google now recommends using Firebase Cloud Messaging, or FCM for short, instead of Google Cloud Messaging. There's never been a better time to get comfortable with Firebase Cloud Messaging, as it's now the preferred method for sending notifications to users. Some of the major topics that we'll cover include building custom push notifications. In the course, we'll build custom push notifications that will be sent to specific users. Firebase Cloud Messaging. We'll learn to leverage the power of Firebase Cloud Messaging and use it to trigger the creation of push notifications. Firebase Cloud Functions. To generate the cloud messages, we'll need the help of Firebase Cloud Functions. Firebase Crashlytics. We'll learn to integrate Firebase Crashlytics so you can get detailed crash reports on all your application's failures. By the end of the course, you'll have a complete understanding of how you can use cloud messaging and cloud functions to send push notifications to any of your app's users. Before beginning the course, you should be familiar with Android Studio, but I'll guide you through everything so if you're fairly new, you should still be okay. I hope you'll join me on this journey to learn about Firebase with the cloud messaging, cloud functions, and Crashlytics course at Pluralsight.